Well, check this out. A European climate agency says last month was the hottest May on record. Globally, May of 2020 brought warmer temperatures than the average May between 1981 and 2010. In April, NOAA said 2020 was on track to be the warmest year on record as well. Sure will feel like it. It sounds like at least the next couple of days. Um, the good news, though, Kevin, you said heat, but no humidity. That's tomorrow. It's going to be hot. Make no mistake about it. We're going to be up around 88 degrees, but it'll be a dry heat. And then we build, we really build the heat and humidity by Tuesday because we crank up the dew point temperatures and as we've explained many times those dew point temperatures are a measure of moisture in the air once they get into the 60s you'll feel the humidity there as well I hope your weekend was an enjoyable one we had some great weather good evening everybody let's talk weather here for the next few minutes shall we as we look in Grand Rapids quiet conditions out there right now we're gonna be clear overnight for the most part temperatures in the 50s so you could turn off the AC if you want to give it a break open up the windows and enjoy that warm almost hot but still comfortable tomorrow because those dew point temperatures will be in the 50s. And then the heat and humidity build in here for Tuesday. Uh, tropical storm Cristobal impacts arrive for us Tuesday evening, Tuesday night and into Wednesday. We're talking wind and rain, uh, which we'll show you here coming up momentarily. Nothing on radar right now. We're going to be dry through the overnight hours and through tomorrow. Let's head down to the Gulf Coast. This swirling mess of uh, cloud cover and also uh, rain shower activity. This is the center of circulation of tropical storm Cristobal right now. Uh, we have 50 mile per hour winds across this area. About three to five inches of rain is likely. Uh, this is expected to rise right up the Mississippi River Valley and track over Wisconsin and we'll feel some of the effects of this system. The remnants, the wind, the rain. No, it won't be a tropical storm. It'll be one category under that, which is a tropical depression. So still a little wind, a little rain, but this is where the worst punch of it is right here. Remember last week we talked about this when it was another five, six, eight hundred miles south over the Yucatan Peninsula. And I said, you know, the models are showing this. It could impact us and indeed we're almost there. So we'll track that here momentarily. Early, folks. Our current temperatures are in the 60s. Again, we're going to be heading down into the mid to upper 50s. Dew point temperatures, again, a measure of moisture in the air. When they're in the 50s like this, that's a fairly dry air mass for this time of the year. I think we're about 57, 58 degree dew point temperature tomorrow. So yes, while it's hot, almost warm with a high of 88, dew point temperatures in the 50s, it's a dry heat. Then these get launched into the 60s by the time we get into Tuesday, and that's when you'll feel the heat and the humidity. Clouds and radar move at the last six hours, and as we pull back out to a wider perspective, we got a tornado watch box here in red, a severe thunderstorm watch box. That's associated with a cold front that's going to move our way and kind of link up with all the energy and the remnants of Tropical Storm Cristobal, and those two will kind of link up and then eventually deepen up and strengthen and then move into Canada, but it's going to give us a little bit of wind and a little bit of rain. We'll look at the timing on that here as we continue. So let's take a look at what's going on with our Skycast HD forecast for tomorrow and our Monday. Mostly sunny, warm, almost hot, pleasant, still somewhat of a dry air mass. Temperatures around 88 degrees with a southeast wind at about 6 to 12 miles per hour. If you're going on Lake Michigan uh, or to the beach, you'll be in great shape. No beach hazard risk out there. No small craft advisories. Waves running about a foot or less with a southeast wind at 5 to 15 knots. These are your Lake Michigan water temperatures. This is going to be a different scene because we have a gale watch in effect for Tuesday night going into Wednesday. Probably some 10 to 12 foot waves out there, some beach erosion, some flooding going on. So that's not the time to be out there later on Tuesday and Wednesday. Tomorrow, good day to be at the beach if you want to go. As we look at our future track HD, high pressure is in control for us tomorrow. Look at all the sunshine that we're looking at here. There's that cold front that I was just talking about, and this will be the remnants of Tropical Storm Cristobal. Both of these kind of converge on our area as we go Monday night into Tuesday. There's the cloud shield from the tropical storm and there's the cold front. We'll start Tuesday dry and sunny, but as we go into the afternoon, the cloud base will start to move in here and thicken up. And by the time we get into around the dinner hour and the evening hours, this is the center of circulation of uh, tropical storm Cristobal, which will probably be a tropical depression at this time. As this arrives, the breezes start to pick up and this is at 6 p.m. on Tuesday. By the time we get into Tuesday evening, Tuesday night going into Wednesday, we'll see breezy conditions off and on rain showers and thunderstorms throughout the day on Wednesday. Breezy conditions, but that gets replaced almost by windy conditions. Somebody asked me on Facebook, what's the difference between these two? It's very subjective. I say about 10 to 20 mile per hour would be breezy. Then anything higher than that, I would co consider windy conditions. So we're looking at maybe some 40 to 50 mile per hour gusts as we go into Wednesday from this system. So rain.
rain and wind will certainly be there. Let's do the tropical tracker here. Here's Cristobal, 50 mile per hour winds right now, gusting to 65. Movement is to the north at seven miles per hour. These are tropical storm warnings that are out right now. This is going to go up through Louisiana. It'll go up through Arkansas. It'll go up through Missouri, just to the west of St. Louis. It'll go up through west central Illinois and right over Wisconsin. And these are the time frames with it. So we'll be out ahead of this. We think most of the rain is going to be further to our north and west. Let's look at rainfall totals here from 6 p.m. on Tuesday to 6 p.m. on Wednesday. We think the bullseye will be out here over northwestern Wisconsin. There may be four or five inches of rain there over our area. Maybe an inch or two of rain is what it's going to look like from that system. So that's again from the Tuesday evening time frame all the way into the day on Wednesday. Seven day planner shows 88 degrees tomorrow, mostly sunny skies. 92 on Tuesday. We'll start with some sunshine, more heat, more humidity. The clouds sticking up through the afternoon. And by the time we get to the dinner hour and into the evening, we're probably going to start to see some rain showers, maybe some thunderstorms working in through the area from the remnants of that tropical storm. That goes into at least about midday on Wednesday. Look at the difference between the temperature. We really start to cool off with the rain, maybe a thunderstorm in there and the extensive cloud cover. We're 76 on Wednesday. We kick that system out of here. Very comfortable conditions by the time we get into Thursday, Friday, Saturday and Sunday with highs in the low to mid 70s, about 77 degrees. That is now our normal high for this time of the year. If you want to read more on this, go to Fox 17 online.com. We've got more information there on that. Derek, Janice. All right, Kevin, a series